What up to all you two? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Momo from Duck Bobby Yakovs. And as you can see right here, I had to pause on my straight hair wave journey because my head was becoming more itchy and itchy and my hair started falling out and I was like, am I using the wrong product? I don't know. I don't know, it could be the weather. I'm not quite sure, but it was really bad. So I had to pause on it, but I'm going back to it after my hair grows out a little bit longer. So stay tuned. So today I'm gonna teach you guys how to give yourself a nice burst fade because I really like burst fade and I really like the, the style of it. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be using number one guard, number two guard, and number three guard, and number four guard, and also 0.5 guard and 1.5 guard. And if you do not have 0.5 guard or 1.5 guard, make sure to check my other video in my channel where I give myself a self cut but without these 0.5 guards or 1.5 guard. But this time I'm gonna be using it so that I can give myself clean little fade. So stay tuned, but shall we start? Boost! Before I'm gonna start cutting my own hair, I'm gonna wet my hair and style it in a way that I want my fade to kind of like style it at the end. So I'm parting my hair right now, so some of the hair goes upwards, some of the hair lays down. This is like a preparation for the nice haircut. And I'm taking out this number four guard, lever all the way open to kind of like take out the weight of the hair, you know, taking out the bulk so that I don't have to be confused later in the step with like lower guards. So this is super important. Make sure you use number four guard to kind of like trim out the weighted hair, especially at the bottom. All right, so take out your trimmer, or if you don't have a trimmer, you can substitute with no guard lever all the way close to kind of create the initial guideline, right? So this time I'm giving myself a burst fade, and the burst fade, the guideline starts kind of like, you know, lower sideburns and goes around the ear and ends kind of like behind the ear. The My tip is to don't go down too much and also don't go don't start from like higher position because later you're gonna you gotta need like some space to blend in in a way to look make it look like more of like a burst fade right all right so now take out your hair clipper lever all the way open right so the lever is placed horizontally and now i'm gonna create my second guideline and usually I would say like go up in about a half inch or like an inch, which is like 2.5 centimeters or centimeters. But burst fade, I like to keep it as low as possible. So it's kind of like a low fade. So I'm, I'm staying around somewhere around one centimeters, but not more. Because later, uh, you're gonna have hard time blending in if you go up too high. And otherwise it's just gonna look like mid fade. You want to create the look of like the burst fade. Okay, now take out your number one guard, level all the way open. And this time I'm gonna be creating my third guy line above the second guy line. And once again, do not go up too high. So I'll say stay with like one centimeters or like a half inch and you know, stay consistent. That's the whole point. Um, as you can see right here, when it comes to bulky hair on the top, you you sometimes get lost in like, like the guidelines. That's why I told you I recommend, I highly, highly recommend to take the bulk off with number four guard before starting the hairline, haircut. Sorry, my bad. Um, yes, so I kind of regret my decision. 
Uh, so later I'm gonna take off the bulk. But now I'm taking out the number two guard this time. Lever all the way open to go up once again. This time more than a half inch. So I'll say one inch, right? Or uh, if it's in a centimeter, it's just like two centimeters or like 2.5 centimeter. This time going up a little bit higher but I'm not creating like a harsh guy line, but rather I'm just flicking out as I'm going up to kind of like blend in to the top. And this time I'm putting number four guard, lever all the way open to kind of like take out the bulk on the top, which I should have done earlier. And now I'm regretting my decision. Um, it's better to just take off all that bulk before you're starting to fade your own hair. That's my mistake. So right now I'm going back with number four guard and doing this process. All right, now back to no guard, lever all the way closed, and now I'm gonna start blending each guy line that we've created before. So I'm gonna start attacking with the initial guy line with no guard, lever all the way closed, and as you can see it right here, I'm using the corner of my hair clipper to kind of like flicking out the line. You know, I'm not really creating the line, but rather I'm erasing the line with the corner of my blade. So this is gonna be a very, very useful tip to just like, you know, use your corner and don't go up too high. And just so you know, if you have any questions or anything to do with the haircut tutorial, make sure to leave a comment down below, or you can also send me a private message on my Instagram account, which is shown on the left hand corner. And right now I'm putting 0.5 guard, lever halfway open, Right now I'm attacking the second guy line that we've created earlier with once again I'm using the corner of my blade. I'm not digging too much. I'm just going back and forth. And if you do not have 0.5 guard at home, which many of you just bought um, hair clippers from Walmart, they usually do not attach 0.5 guard or number 1.5 guard. You can substitute this process with no guard lever all the way open or um, number one guard level all the way close. Use both of them to kind of like soften the line and blend in completely. All right, so now I'm putting on number 1.5 guard lever halfway close and i'm gonna erase the last line right there it's it's obvious right it is like a prominent huge line across my head so i'm gonna soften up trying to erase that line and i'm starting off with lever all the way open halfway you know kind of like play around with the lever and as my as i'm going down I'm closing up the lever as needed and if i can't erase this line completely i'm gonna go back to number one guard level all the way open to kind of have like detail work and kind of like finish it up the process As I mentioned before, I'm putting number one guard level all the way open to kind of like have a detail work because I couldn't take out some of the lines. So I'm attacking that line, try to erase that line completely. And if I can get it out with number one guard level all the way open, sometimes I would like to just close up the lever, you know, number one guard lever halfway open to kind of like, you know, complete that blend. But this is, this is, uh, this requires a lot of skill but you know, if you, you can try at home. Okay, I will always, always end my haircut with lining up my hairline because you know, at the end of the day, it just gives a fresh, crisp look for your haircut. No matter how bad or how good your haircut, is like let's say you kind of mess it up the fade if your hair lining up hairline is on point then your haircut overall 
it will look much much better and it also applies to the other way around as well so you know take your time if you're doing a self cut no one's gonna rush you it's okay so take your time and just look at yourself in a mirror and going back and forth and have that box crisp hairline so yeah take your time and good luck YouTube, this is the cut. What do you guys think? If you like my video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and hopefully you have an amazing self-cut session. And I hope to see you very soon. Peace.